How's it going, y'all? Henry uh, here back with another hiking review. So the most recent video I just made and got done experiencing was called Mount Moose, Moose Coco Trail. Um, it was about, I wanna say about 15, 25 minutes from where I'm at in the Springs area, and it was fun. So I made a whole complication. I like to say complication, but you know, it's kind of a collaboration more of the sense. And I said my last video, so a lot of friends and family told me that I messed up there. So there's my correction, yeah. Um, a collaboration of videos and photos. I took the pups out this time, so they got a nice little uh, experience out there and wiped them out for the day, so they're nice and tired. Um, the total length of this hike uh, estimated is four miles. The elevation gain is only about 1,290. So it's very minimum. It's great for anybody who's new to hiking. Um, it's not very difficult, and the results of giving you you know, really good experience is there. Um, the type of trail it is, it's an out and back. Uh, there's another part of the trail that I found that kind of connects out to different branches. I don't know where those go, but the thing that's great about Colorado, and I've like said in my last video, is there's so many signs that keep you on the course. There's only one area where you go over a large rock, and I call it don't mess with the art because they stacked a bunch of rocks together like a structure. So that's the only where area I got messed up on. Um, I use my hiking sticks, which you'll see. Highly recommend those with the camel pack. And I talk about some other details. So hope you enjoy it. Have a good one. Let's go. Insane. But insanely awesome. Not insane like it's not possible. It's insane because it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, we're doing uh, the trail's called Mount Moose Coco, I believe, but take that for granted because I'm not the best at pronouncing words, <laughs> it's not my best strong suit. Um, but yeah, this trail's legit, highly recommend it. If I can focus in for you, there we go. We're towards about halfway up, I believe. Came all the way from down there. It spins all the way around here. Very interesting thing about this trail is you're going to be in sunlight. Obviously, depending on weather, but let's say it's a normal casual day out. You're going to be going from temperature changes of, it feels like about 15 degrees drop to an increase of 20, so it's going to fluctuate. I definitely recommend, you know, hat, sunglasses, and long sleeve shirt, you know, and just long pants, unless it's midsummer, super hot out, but when you're going on different sides, the shell does wrap around a lot. Make sure you've got the appropriate clothing on because you're going to change. Unless you're just a free ba freeze baby, it's all good. <laughs> just something that I thought would be interesting. So random little tidbit, I guess. That's what I heard from a friend. And I would love to know this, what the biology is with it, but this little mountain area on this face, you see how there's trees all around it? But for some reason, this little area, there's nothing. It's a complete bald spot where everything else is vegetation. We've seen in, in high elevation, mountains that uh you know once a tree tree line stops growing on a certain area it's because the air is so thin and there's not enough oxygen for these trees to grow so i'm wondering why because there's trees all the way on top of that but there's nothing on that side is it because of sun is it because of something i'm curious i'd love to know don't ruin the art don't ruin the art. Well, you can see, it's well worth the wait. It's pretty dang crazy. <laughs> Here, boy.
Okay, I lied. This is crazier. Jeez. Cup of coffee. It's so quiet, it's amazing. Scoops, come here, bud. I just wanna listen. Hey, yo. Just gotta get a parachute next time.